Hi everyone, I'm here with what, if it works right, is a new audio setup. I hope I sound better. And this is a lot more work to do because of reasons, but I hope I sound better. The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? But also, less about me, let's more about Persona. I, uh, they're the main stars. Uh, yeah, last night we saw the TV and we we're like, it's that guy. We, we saw him on the TV. We saw him on the other TV. Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Yeah. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? Uh-huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. Everyone knows everyone in this damn game. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So I speak with Kanji-kun's mother from time to time. Why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Yeah, why didn't you think of that, like, at any time? Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. Probably not. All right, then let's get going. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. We decided to go to Kanji Tatsumi's house to have a chat with them. Hello. Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. Slender young ma'am. Man. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. What's up with him, weirdo? Uh, never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually... Hey, this scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. Oh, you're right. Where was that? What are you talking about? Which scarf? That red one? Oh, it was that place inside the TV! Chie! That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamino? Uh, well, kinda. Um... Did Ms. Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's Because scarf. her husband cheated on her, and then he It did, left us with right? no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? How should I know? Can we ask where Kanji is? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, so that's interesting, oh, actually. That I'll be right we actually there. are connected. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. Is Wait, that so? But, well, then but ask, say hello to your mother for me. Ask him if we see Kanji. Excuse me? We came here with a specific question in mind. 
it really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Well, it's a connection to Yamada. Yeah, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. There he is. Quick, Why didn't we ask? Why do we have to hide? Just talk to him. You're not fooling anyone, you know. Who are we fooling? Us? Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. You've just uncover you eavesdrops on cover da -da 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 -da. You eavesdrops on Conry's con Or can I say eavesdropped? You eavesdropped on Conry's conversation with the boy. T tomorrow's fine with me. Huh? S school. Uh, of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. D did, he, did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? Why did you? I feel like this could be solved if we just talked to this man. It scared the hell out of me. He's even worse in person than on TV. It'd be kind of weird if he was worse on TV, but like, just talk the one to on him. TV last night was definitely Kanji Kun. Yeah, and I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? I think Kanji's a target. I don't think her mother's a target because he was on TV. Yeah, that's what it's like based on the TV image. But his mother fits the pattern more than he does. I, I am choosing to believe TV over idle oh, speculation. Maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Maybe they're... Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? Yeah, maybe they're only targeting a certain age. But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? I'm totally lost. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Yeah, something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family's store. Okay. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan what, all along? What is so wrong with getting a cell number? Like, like was, like this game is 10 years old over, but like, was it really that wild to get a cell number? Where it was like only for that? Like, couldn't just have one uh, for no. convenience? I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. While we're on the subject, 
Could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? I'm sorry, what? You really sound like a pervert. You can't just introduce that element. Hey, are you talking I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. I'm very... Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Like, like there's no reason he shouldn't be able to ask for Yukiko's number. Am I insane? Hmm. Stakeouts? Tailing people? <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Decided to stake out Kanji in the textile shop tomorrow. Do I get to... Uh, um, it's evening. Do I get to do anything today? Or is it just a cutscene? Are we in cutscene hell? Or land? Because hell implies it doesn't end. Welcome home! Nope, seems like there's nothing we can do. How are you doing, Nanako? Plus, it's cool pretend they're in gangs when they run around. That's very nice. Oh, wait. That's weird. It still says TV when you're looking at Nanako. I see the forecast, and it's pretty basic. Okay. Not just yet. Yeah, it's actually, it's fine. Go to sleep. Yep. Okay, well, that's it. Sorry. Oh. That is the end of today. I will see you all tomorrow in which we do the stakeout.